Hello, in this video I'll show you how I created this 3D printed Archimedes screw that lifts water as it's turned, all within Fusion 360. First thing that we want to do is make sure that the units are in inches, and then we're going to create a bunch of parameters for our model. The way that I like to make my models is I like to parameterize everything with variables, and then if I have to update my model I just change those variables and the model will adjust. And then since we created all of those parameters, let's save the model. Next, let's create a sketch in the z-plane. And then we'll create a circle with diameter, diameter, inner. Next, we'll create another circle with diameter, diameter, outer. And then last, we'll create another circle with diameter equal to diameter outer plus two times the thickness of the casing. And then we'll create a line going from the origin to diameter outer, and then we'll trim it, leaving only the outer portion of the line. Next, we'll create another sketch in the front view. Next, we'll create a line running vertically, and then we'll add some constraints. We'll set the midpoint equal to the other sketch, and then we'll set a length of two times the screw length. And we'll make that a construction curve. We'll then go to surface. And we'll create a sweep. We'll choose the original line segment that we made. And as the path, we'll choose that construction curve. Then for our twist angle, we'll choose angle twist. And then we'll go to the surface tab again and we'll do a thicken. We'll select the helix and the thickness we want to set as the negative thickness of the blades. Next, we'll go to our first sketch and we'll make some more extrusions. We'll extrude the inner profile and the outer profile and we'll extrude that the length of the screw. And instead of a cut, we'll do a join. And then you'll notice at the top and the bottom, there's this axis of the helix that's sticking out. So we're going to trim that by doing a split body. Then we'll go to the bottom and we'll do the same thing. Now we have these extra bodies since we did the split body. So we'll go to the one that we want to keep, we'll name that screw, and then the other bodies we want to get rid of. Now we can't just delete them, otherwise that will break the parameterization of the model. So what we'll do instead is we'll remove them from the model. Now we'll make a section cut so that we can see the inside of the screw. And we have our Archimedes screw done. All that's left is to create a handle and a case, and we'll start on the handle right after saving the model. First, we'll turn off that section cut that we made, and then we'll create another sketch at the top of the screw. And we'll create a circle with a diameter of diameter handle.
we'll make a two-sided extrusion. The first side will go up by the length of the handle, and it will go inside the screw by handle insert depth, and we'll want to make that a new body. So we'll create another sketch at the top of the extrusion, and we'll create a rectangle. And that rectangle will be touching the circle, and then we'll set some constraints to make it tangent to the circle. And then we'll set another constraint so that the length is equal to the length of the handle. We'll create another circle using the two-point method. And then we can extrude those profiles down by the diameter of the handle. And we'll make sure to do a join. We'll turn that sketch back on, and we'll extrude the circle up by a diameter handle. Extrude that circle up by diameter handle over 2, and we'll also add in a taper angle of 45 degrees. Next, we'll create a sketch on top of that, and we'll make a circle, and we'll give it a diameter of diameter knob. And then we'll extrude that up by diameter handle. And we'll also make it two-sided, and we'll extrude it down. And we'll go to object, but we'll include an offset of clearance. And then we also want to do new body. And then we want to do a combined bodies except we want to use it as a subtraction. So we'll select our knob as the target, and then the handle as the tool, and we want to keep the tool. Next, we want to make another section cut so we can see inside. We'll select that plane. And you can see that the handle is subtracted from the knob, but there's no clearance between the two. So let's go ahead and create some clearance. We'll turn off the handle. And then we'll make an offset face and select these surfaces of the body. And we'll do a negative clearance value for that. Now we have a good amount of space for the knob to rotate around the handle. We'll create a sketch on top of the handle, and then we'll turn off our section cut and turn off the knob so that it's easier to see. We'll then create a line going from the center of the circular portion of the handle to the outer diameter to get a midpoint, and we'll make that a construction curve. And then we'll use the center point of that line to make a new circle with diameter equal to 0.02. And then we'll use a circular pattern tool to create four of those around that circle. And then we'll extrude each of those circles up by an amount of two times the clearance amount. 
It doesn't really matter how much, as long as it doesn't protrude from the knob. But then we'll turn our knob back on and we'll do a join. Now the great thing about those built-in supports is they allow the handle and the knob to be printed as one part, and then they can be deliberately broken by twisting the knob after printing. And the last thing that we need to do is subtract the handle from the screw. So we'll do combine, and then we'll use the target body of the screw and the tool as the handle, and we'll do the keep tool option. Last, we'll turn off our handle and our sketches, and we'll do an offset face. And we'll offset that interface by native clearance. Now our screw and handle are done, so we'll go ahead and save. Last, we need to make the container for the screw to rotate in, and we'll do that by starting a construction plane that's offset from the bottom by negative clearance. And then we'll create a sketch on that construction plane. We'll create a circle with diameter equal to diameter outer plus two times thickness casing plus two times clearance. We'll then create another circle with a diameter equal to diameter outer plus two times thickness casing plus two times clearance plus two times thickness container. We'll create a circle with diameter equal to diameter outer minus two times length lip. We'll then extrude that outer profile up by an amount of negative length screw minus clearance. And last, we'll turn that sketch back on and we'll extrude the outer profile and the inner profile by thickness container, making sure to use the join option. And with that, the Archimedes screw is now done and it can be exported as three different files and brought into the Slicer software of your choice. Make sure to see my other video of the 3D printing, assembly, and demonstration of this Archimedes screw. Thank you.